Hello everyone. So let's discuss a bit about dynamics. And let's solve problems about dynamics which specifically dealing with kinematics um, or the rectilinear motion in the horizontal plane. So discuss lang natin yung overview what a di what dynamics is. So dynamics deals with accelerated motion of um, of the body and part of the branch of dynamics is kinematics as I mentioned. And kinematics deals with body in motion without reference to the forces that causes the motion. So napaka straightforward ng definition ng kinematics isulat lang natin para may reference tayo sa mga sinasabi. And I kept this video in Tagalog para, or Taglish, para at least mag magkaroon ng connection sa audience. So, kinematics deals, again, deals with body in motion without reference daw to the force that causes the motion. Yun yung kaibahan ng kinematics sa kinetics. Ayan yung dalawang branches ng dynamics. So, Kinematics, walang pakialam sa reference or sa nag-cause ng motion. However, kinetics, siya naman ay may pakialam sa reference of motion. And ang i-discuss natin today is about kinematics. Okay? Yan yung isisolve natin mga problems for kinematics. And based on our discussion, we have three different kinematics equations of motion. Isulat natin, ano nga ba yung tatlong yon? Kasi pagka na-memorize mo or na-familiarize mo yung three kinematic equations, yung free fall, sobrang dali na lang yon Kasi you will just replace acceleration with the gravity. So, isulat natin, ano nga ba yung three kinematic equations? So, the three kinematic equations... I, number one, is related to distance. So, sabi, distance designated by S is equal to the initial velocity multiplied by the time plus or minus. So, you have the ambiguous sign which determines if the object is accelerating or decelerating. Now, you have the acceleration and you have time squared. The next equation, that's equation number one, the next equation, equation number two, is about the final velocity minus the initial velocity, that's VO, is equal to another ambiguous sign, so alam nyo na yung difference between plus, using plus or minus, you have acceleration multiplied by the time. And the third kinematic equation is just a derivation from the first equation and the second equation. So, para mas madali na lang nating ma-solve ma ma yung mga problems based on the given, let's just write in the third kinematic equation, which is the square of the final velocity minus the square of the initial velocity is equal to plus or minus 2 times the acceleration multiplied by the distance or the displacement. So, yung S, it can be a distance, it can be a displacement. And we will have a separate vid video to discuss what's the difference between displacement and distance. We also have speed and velocity. So, magkakaiba yun kasi yung, yung speed and um, distance are scalar quantities and velocity and, and displacement are vector um, quantities. So, mamaya na natin yung discuss or in the next videos, let's just focus on the the problems related to the kinem for, to, related to kinematics. Okay? So, let's take note of this uh, these equations. You can capture a screenshot or you can go back to to this this time of this video to capture the formulas. So, burahin na natin and let's solve one problem at uh, this time. So the problem says, a tractor at rest, isulat natin yung problem para may reference tayo kung ano yung sinasolve natin. Sabi, 
a tractor at rest. Lagyan natin ng number kasi apat yung isasolve natin and um, I will keep it separate. So, magiging apat na video to. So, a tractor at rest. Accelerates. So that it covers a distance of 10 meters. So the motion happened, sabi, the motion happened. For 12 seconds. So the question is, what is the acceleration of the tractor in this scenario? So what is the acceleration? Okay. So completo na natin yung yung ating um problem. So, gawin natin yung process, yung normal process of solving a problem which is, you will write the given. ba? So, let's write the given. And clearly stated sa given natin, we have several not, uh, notable um, like quantities. First is, you have the distance of 10 meters and you also have um, the time it's not clearly stated as the, the time, but you have 12 seconds here. Um, and what is being asked is the acceleration. You also have another given na hindi siya masyadong clearly uh, notable, pero sabi dito, a tractor at rest. So that is an indicator that the initial velocity is zero. So sulat natin, V O, which is the initial velocity, is equal to zero meters per second. Um, aware naman tayo sa unit na velocity, which is in meters per second, if it's an if it's in as a unit. So, time, you have 12 seconds, and you also have your distance, so 10 meters. So, based on uh, what we discussed, the three kinematic equations, alin doon, yung applicable na gamitin dito sa problem na to. So, naalala natin, yung first equation is S is equal to VOT plus or minus 1 half AT squared. Yun ba yung gagamitin natin? Or yung second na equation, we have VF or the final velocity minus the initial velocity is equal to AT. Yun ba yung gagamitin natin? Kaso wala tayong final velocity. At yung pangatlo also covers about, also talks about final velocity. So definitely, ang gagamitin nating um, kinematic equation would be the first kinematic equation, which is, let's type in, formula to use is yung S is equal to initial velocity multiplied by the time. You have the ambiguous um uh, sign, pero ang gagamitin natin is plus, kasi nga, ito, nakalagay, accelerates. Kapag ka deceleration yung pinag-uusapan, therefore you will be using minus. So, this time we will be using plus, and then you have one half A multiplied by the square of time. Okay? So, you have this formula already, um, madali na lang natin masosol yung problem. So, sulat natin, solution, Siguro kung hindi kayo masyadong um, sanay na uh, parang yung arrangement ng formula is uh, is based on the original one. You have the, the distance on the other side. Gagamitin lang, gagawin lang natin is just scramble the equation so that yung acceleration na yung nandito sa left side. Okay? So gawin natin yon. Una, edi isulat natin yung acceleration sa left side. Dap, kasi yun yung magiging equation natin pag sinold na natin yung problem. So, ano ang mangyayari? Siyempre, ito muna, yung VOT. Pero, in, in this example, or yeah, in this example, the tractor, the tractor is at rest. So, your initial velocity is zero. Um, either way, let's just solve for, for A or 
write in the formula. We have distance, di ba? You have distance minus, kasi ililipat natin yung VOT sa kabila. So, minus VOT. So, you have distance minus VOT. Di ba? Yun yun. Ngayon, you have 1 half and T squared na katabi ng 80. So, anong mangyayari sa 1 half? 1 half will be multiplied to the difference of the distance and then the, the VOT. So, gawa natin ng parenthesis, multiplied by 2. Kasi, parang minultiply mo lang to uh, both sides of the equation by 2. And then, you still have T squared. Gawin natin, magiging siyang denominator. Okay? And you already have your equation. So, gagawin lang natin, plug in na lang yung given. Kasi nasolve na natin or nakuha na natin yung appropriate equation. So, you have 2 multiplied by the distance which is 10 meters minus VOT. Huwag na natin pag-usapan to kasi at rest nga daw. So, this will be zeroed out. So, that's 0. And then, you have T squared at, um, sa ilalim. You have 12 seconds and then naka-square siya. Don't forget na i-square um, yung 12 at saka yung seconds kasi dun magkakaroon ng um, ng correct unit yung acceleration natin which is meters per second squared. So, ano mangyayari? 2 multiplied by 10, that's 20 meters divided by 12 seconds squared. Um, 12 squared is 144 and then seconds Kasi, naka-square din yung second. So, make sure na naka-second squared siya. And then, acceleration using your calculator. So, this is your calculator. 20 divided by 144. And that is 5 over 36 in fraction. But let's use the decimal form. And that's 0 0.139 meters per second squared. And that is our final answer for this specific problem. Okay? So, siguro hindi tayo hihinto dito kasi mm, may tuturo ako para mas mapadali ang buhay natin sa pagsasolve ng problem without using the derivation, yung pagsasolve ng acceleration formula. Masasolve pa rin natin to. If you have this type of calculator, FX991ES or um, other late, later version of uh, Casio, so, you will have this specific function sa calculator na magagamit mo para ma-solve yung, yung problem na to ng mas mabilis. Gagamitin mo lang yung original formula which is S equal, is equal to VOT plus 1 half AT squared. Okay? So, gawin natin yon. Sana malinaw yung, yung view natin ng calculator. If um, not, you can just zoom in. So, using this formula, original formula, just plug in the given. I know that the S or the distance is 10 meters. So, I type in 10. Is equal to, meron tayong function dyan, alpha, and then yung katabi ng solve, which is, that is the equal sign. You have VOT or the initial velocity times time, which we know it's zeroed out. Pero kapag ka already, um, like, it, there's already a veloc an initial velocity or there's an, an amount of initial velocity. Gagamitin natin yun sa mga sa ibang problems. But this time, this is zeroed out. Huwag na natin pakialaman. We have 1 half 80 squared na matitira. So, let's type in. Ito yung function para gumawa ng fraction. 1 half. Okay, sana na nasusundan ako. You have A. But in the, in your, using your calculator, much better to use X para sa mga unknown kasi mas nare-recognize siya agad ni calculator. So, you have t squared multiplied by t squared. So, t squared is 12 squared. ba? And what you will do to solve this equation, kapag ka gumamit ka ng equals, ang gagamitin mo is shift solve. Okay? And you can type in um, a number which you think is nearest to the expected amount, um, number. Kapag ka medyo malayo yung tinipe mong number, mas matagal yung calculation um, process. Pero pagka malapit yung assumption mo, then mas mabilis yung calculation time. So, press equals and you will find the answer. So, x, in, in this example, it's the acceleration, it's 0 0.139. So, mas madaling part ng or mas madaling process ng calculation using your calculator. And we will use this type of, um, of 
solving, meron tayong yung old school na pagsasolve, meron tayong calculator method. I hope this video helped you solve the first kinematic problem and see you soon sa mga susunod na videos. Thank you!